buddy. Shelton here with Bug Buddies. Uh, we are going to go climb some trees today. It's pre-season. Um, and with season right around the corner, even though it feels like it's light years away, uh, I suck with my saddle setup right now. So, we're going to go climb some trees. I'm going to try to get used to Really the biggest thing is getting up the tree faster. Like knowing how everything works is fine. I'm just so slow getting up that tree. So that's the goal today. We're gonna do that. I'll take you with me. And probably practice shooting out of the tree as well. Um, I'm more comfortable with that. I did a little bit of that yesterday, but I'm kind of making it a point to climb a few trees a day for a while until I'm ready for this season and I can walk in in the morning and, and be effective and fast. So that's the goal for today. Um, stay tuned. Okay, everybody, we're here. Uh, we're gonna load everything into the mule, get down there. It's a pretty deep drive. Um, we'll go see if we can find us some trees. It's gonna be, we're not gonna get right up in where I'm hunting. Uh, I'm just gonna try to find a good set of trees we can sit up in and not pressure the area too much. So, see you out there. So since none of you know, because um, I haven't done a very good job of keeping everybody updated, um, I've got three cell cams running. This is a 300 acre uh, piece of private land and haven't got anything too crazy. We got a bunch of good solid bucks that'll be good here in about two years. Lots of does. Um, it looks insane in here. It's amazing. Um, Definitely a lot of honey holes in here, but it's hard to cover this much property with three cameras. So we're definitely gonna have to expand. But as of right now, it's early, you know, it's August. So not feeding too heavy right now. And they're not eating too much. But once the colder weather gets here, we'll expect a little more. Right now it's kind of play time. We're experimenting. We got a few stands up. Um, but there's so many trails throughout this place. I need this mobile setup, the saddle hunting setup, because, you know, I might have to call an audible pretty much every hunt. We'll see, depending on wind direction. So, so right now, we're just playing around, seeing if I'm even capable, because right now, with the, how long it takes me to get in the tree, I'll show up at dark, and by the time I get set, it'll be time to leave. It's not its not that bad, but that's, that's how I feel like right now. So, I'm going to take you all along with me and show you all what's going on. Sorry about the wind. We will have 
cleaner footage coming soon. We're, we're working on getting our camera gear. Um, as of right now, we're still getting getting ready for this huge push. It's going to be a big year for us. Hopefully, we can put down some big boys for y'all. So, stay tuned. This is kind of what we're dealing with. Um, lots of heavily wooded area, but very easy to walk through. Might not look like it from here, but it's super clean. Uh, we're gonna, I mean, the amount of trails that I've seen throughout all this, there's no way we can cover them all. I've picked the best spots I could uh, to try to just figure out <laughs> maybe where the, the most heavily worked areas are. But this is, uh, this is what we're dealing with. We will be planting. Uh, a lot of the areas out here, for instance, this spot, it's a huge lane all the way down. A lot of good potential there. We've seen a lot of good stuff from the previous owners. Uh, they used to just throw out feeders in the opening and they would get some big ones there. But it goes forever. And... This looks promising. start our hike somewhere in here. it as if we were really actually doing this. So, um, initially, I would, I would be walking into the woods with my saddle on, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Try to eliminate as many steps as I can when I get to the tree. From what I've seen from everybody, that's kind of the way to go. All right, I think we're geared up. Carry everything in. Really big buck buddies were huge on, you know, showing what actually happens in the woods and not, we're not putting on a persona of being perfect because no one is. And unfortunately things happen in the woods that you wouldn't want to happen, uh, which is why we practice. Um, but you know, we're not about to act like we're, the, we're professionals. We like to think we are. We like to think we do a great job. But at the end of the day, everybody has their mistakes. <clears throat> Bad things happen in the woods. Uh, we're just trying to eliminate those things with all this practice. What we're bringing to you is raw. You know, we're, if we're trying out something new, we're not going to go perfect it and then show you perfection. We're going to show you the steps of getting better at it. And if we never do get better at it, <laughs> so that's what it's kind of what we focus on. And hopefully y'all enjoy that. We're going to try to find a tree here that I would actually sit out of. I'm not just going to pick a random tree and climb it. So let's see what we can find. 
Okay, I think I found a tree that I like. This one right here. Focus. We've got some cover behind me. I'm actually gonna try to get up in that and kind of sit in those limbs to hide my back cover. Hopefully I'll still have a shot at the opening out there and still have a shot on the main trail that runs back behind there. So let's see what we can do. Okay, we're in the tree. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It took about, I think it took me 15 minutes from the time I put the first stick, or I got ready to put the first stick on to gear in the tree. So I'm ready to hunt. Uh, I'll kind of show you my setup here. You can see we're, we're up there. Um, I'll show you what I have. Uh, this is just, this is a Ropeman one. Uh, I've got two of those. I run one on my lineman rope and one on my tether, which makes it really easy for adjustment. Uh, this is actually the tethered HYS strap, his strap. I'm not really sure what they, how that's pronounced, but that's that's what I have for hanging my bag, my arrows, um, and then I carry a just a screw-in holder for my bow. Might be getting replaced with like a monkey arm or something, but for the most part, that's, that's pretty much my setup. Um, as you can see, all the gear I have here uh, works good. It's almost the bare essentials, honestly, is what I've learned. Uh, there, there's other ways to do this, obviously, and I think I don't, I don't know. Y'all can tell me. Maybe 15 minutes is a good time slow i'm not sure i really don't know how fast i should be up here in gear but a lot better than i thought it was going to be kind of happy with that it went pretty smooth for the most part i'm going to take a few shots up here at this target i put out there um, i'll try to get footage of that but it's really awkward up here uh, as a great man once said i'm just perched up here like a chicken hawk and uh I mean, hopefully, maybe I'll even see some deer while I'm sitting up here. I'm gonna chill for a while, try to get comfortable uh, with this setup. It's definitely, if you've never done anything like this, it is not, it is not something that, that seems normal, so. But with four sticks, I think I got about 20, probably at my head, I'm about 22 feet maybe, give or take. I think I could get a little more stretched out of it. I didn't I didn't really have to reach for any steps, so if I wanted to go a little higher, I think I could. But I'm gonna take some shots and crawl back down, I guess. It went pretty good, so. Another thing I really like about this setup is, as you can see, like I'm, I wanted to be in this, little carriage of trees so I did it I put myself where I wanted to be I'm really hidden uh, it's, it's one of the only ways of hunting where you can literally put yourself in a pocket that you want to be in without having to drag a stand up there and, and it makes it really versatile all the way around the tree so well sorry guys this is the best I could do for you uh, you can at least listen I guess <laughs> see if I uh, absolutely miss or whatever y'all tell me Kind of a tough shot. I got a lot of leaves and stuff and sticks in the way. We'll make it happen. Tis 
a hit. Alright guys, I believe I'm going to get down from the tree now. It was fun, it was real, but... Much what I wanted out of this. So. I don't know if y'all can see the gap I was shooting through, but I was going through that little V right there. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you liked this video. Like and subscribe if you did. Uh, there's going to be a lot more to come. We're uh, season's kicking off, and it's going to get real busy. Uh, hopefully for everybody. And you know, just if you take anything with you, just just get out there. And, try new things practice it's always cool you know they come out with new things and i know saddle hunting is not a new thing but it's a new fad i guess and uh i encourage everybody to try it we're gonna run it a lot this season see how you know see the difference we're you know mainly me and tana both hunt stationary just throw up a stand and there you are but you know we're, we're trying to jump into some new things for y'all give y'all some good content and maybe drop some big ones this year so Stay tuned if you uh, enjoyed this video. There will definitely be more to come, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.